Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Liminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your first stream with Streamweaver Lite. Streamweaver Lite is an incredibly powerful utility for the transport of protocols that we use very commonly in the entertainment industry, but really any generic UDP protocol in general, things like OSC, Artnet, SACN, um, so on and so forth, are supported in Streamweaver Lite. And so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your first stream. Uh, and to do that, we're going to walk through a scenario. So um, let's say that I am running uh, the Isadora media server by Trickatronic. This is a media server that I use quite often uh, because in combination with the tools that we make here at Liminal, like Zoom OSC and Streamweaver Lite, uh, it offers a lot of flexibility for live streaming. So what I'm going to do in this example is uh, emit some OSC data um, uh, right now, you can, if you're not familiar with Isadora, just take it on faith that I'm posting OSC packets to uh, localhost on port 7000. And what I want to do is I've got another computer, and this is on a remote network, and I want to be able to send this computer the OSC packets that I'm generating on my main computer. And we're going to use Streamweaver Lite to do that. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to open Streamweaver Lite, and I'm going to create a profile for the other computer. Now, I am also running Streamweaver Lite on this computer, so I'm going to go down to the settings page. And in Streamweaver Lite, we list the public IP address of your computer uh, in the settings page. So all I, all I have to do is click on this number on the remote computer, and I have a shared clipboard with it. So I'm just going to paste the number in the external profile section of my Streamweaver. I'm going to call this, uh, well, in this example, let's do like Jack and Jill. So I'll be, I'll be uh, Jill's network and Jack's network will be the remote computer. So I'm going to say Jack's network and I'll create an external profile. Streamweaver Lite works by creating profiles that you can reference elsewhere in the app. So by creating an external profile, I'll be able to reference Jack's network from other views of the application. And like I said, I want to be able to send Jack's network some OSC packets that I'm sending from Isadora. So I'm going to go down to the transmit section. I'm going to name this um, OSC to Jack, let's say. I'm going to select OSC from my drop-down list of the different protocols that Streamweaver Lite supports. I'm going to select an internal profile, which by default we give you the loopback interface. This is 127001, otherwise known as localhost. And if I look in Isadora, I'll see I'm posting these OSC packets on port 7000. So what I just did there is I filled out the sort of the, the source of the data, and now I have to tell it the destination for the data. And as you just said, I want to send it to Jack's network. Now, Jack and I have to decide on a shared port to use. Um, so I am going to use port 5687, and I'm going to hit Create Transmission. So now you'll see uh, I have a OSC transmission listed on the protocol section. I see the details about it in the center view, and right now it says it's transmitting, and it's got a yellow light, which means that it is waiting to pair with the other endpoint. So now I'm going to go over to Jack's computer, and I'm going to do the same thing I just did, but in reverse for my network. So I'm going to go over to the external profile section, and I'll be, again, I'm, my network is going to be Jill, so I will fill out Jill's network. And then I'm going to use my Streamweaver Lite setting page to find my IP address. And I'm going to fill it out, and I'm going to hit Create External. So now I have an external profile for my network. And on this computer, I'm going to go to the Receive tab, and I'm going to say... OSC from Jill, and I will select OSC, Jill's network, transmission port, what did we say it was? It was 5687. I want to dump this out on an internal profile, which for me, it'll be fine to put it on the loopback interface. Isadora by default uses port 1234, so I'll send it there. And I have the option, if I wanted to send it to other computers on my network, I could fill out local forwarding profiles, but I'm not going to do that right now. We'll save that for another time. I'll hit Create Transmission. What you see is now I have a green light on this computer and a green light on this computer, which means that we have connected and we are sending OSC packets. Now I want to see them on the receiving computer. So I'll launch Isadora. And I'll show you how to view these packets just to confirm. I'm going to allow Isadora on my private network, just like I did for Streamweaver. I'll continue to the demo of Isadora, dismiss the warnings and tips, go down to the Communications tab, go to Stream Setup, Auto Detect Input, and there I see Streamweaver demo, which was, if you look at uh, my Isidore instance, that's what I'm sending. I'm sending these numbers, these sort of randomly decided numbers. And if I go back and I look at it on the other computer, you'll see that, yes, in fact, the data is coming through um, at this sort of one hertz pulse that I have set up for it. Now I'd be able to use this data uh, with whatever I wanted. And 
you know, the astute among you will realize the power of this is that now I could send control data between media servers. I could send lighting to control lighting fixtures on remote networks, really uh, anything that I would normally be able to do on a LAN. Uh, thanks to Streamweaver Lite support of UDP protocols, uh, I can now do over the internet. So if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to shoot us an email at info at liminalet.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, until then, happy streaming.